Hey everybody, it's Jamie here. Welcome to Florida and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. This is part two of my experience of five nights at Universal Orlando. What do you mean you missed part one? Let's rewind. You really did miss all of this in part one. Where were you? And here's what's coming up in today's episode. And don't go anywhere because coming up on Travel Blog Jamie, an in-depth tour and review of Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort, how to navigate the resorts and parks. I'll be showing you around and trying out the attractions at the three Universal parks, Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios, and also the water park, Volcano Bay. I've got some point of view footage to share with you all, loads of tips and recommendations on how to make the most of your stay at Universal Orlando, and finally a review of my flight home again with British Airways on the 777-200 from Orlando to London Gatwick in an exit row seat. And here's the continuation, you gorgeous lot. Well, good morning, everybody. I am still full up from last night's Mexican meal at Antojitos. So just a coffee, and a piece of fruit for me to start the day. And then I'm gonna to head to Volcano Bay. So Volcano Bay park hours today, 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. However, if you are staying on Universal property, you get early access half an hour before opening to the public. So I'm heading in my secret entrance woo, <laughs> at half nine. Secret baby. Ba, 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 da, da. To the left, do hotel guests take advantage of early entry? Uh, yes. Here we go. It's a beast, isn't it? And look at that drop slide. Crazy. Woo, it's so big. There's my hotel. Now then, uh, a lot of people like getting lounges near the main pool. I get that. Really pleased to see a reserved area here for less able-bodied people as well. There are life jackets galore as well for your younglings. You could equally splash out on one of these cabanas. They look incredible. There's lots of little nooks and crannies for lounges as well. I actually want one near slides and the lazy and crazy river. So I'm walking around the backside of the volcano. Radio, I've got my spot near lots of slides. There's a restaurant and bar nearby as well. And the crazy river. So when you enter Volcano Bay, you're gonna receive a tapu tapu band. Now from this band, you can actually interact with different elements in the park, but also join virtual lines. So next to each attraction, you'll find these screens. If there is a wait time, you literally tap your tapu and it will inform you when it's time to ride. In the meantime, go and enjoy the pools, the lazy rivers, eat, drink, whatever takes your fancy. Right, let me show you around and then I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> Whilst the crowds at early entry may look significant, don't be put off. There's so much room in this water park, they soon disperse. One thing I loved about the park to park ticket at Universal is the flexibility it afforded me in being able to visit Volcano Bay, sometimes just for a few hours before closing. And with my resort of Cabana Bay being on its doorstep, it was a no brainer and super easy. Don't forget you can rent lockers and towels inside Volcano Bay at Rainforest Village, River Village and Wave Village. Paid lockers start at about $12 per day and towels start at $6 per day, although I just brought my own. You can also link your whole family and bank account to your Tapu Tapu, meaning you can use it to make purchases whilst in the park. Water shoes are allowed in the park and you're allowed to wear them on some of the attractions. Just check at the entrance to each. Each attraction also has some storage space at the entrance where you can leave your water shoes, sandals, flip flops, your children. Okay, no, no, not your children. Okay, I'm gonna ride me some puppies. Woo, drowned rat. These slides are awesome, they really are. Alrighty, so in that half hour early entry, I managed to do three slides, which I think is pretty good going. And now it's 10 a.m. and the general public will flood in. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they know I'm here and we'll keep away. All right, it's time to ride the fearless river. The crazy river, as I call it. If you're a crazy river fan, well, this is a fabulous spot to spend your day. It is compulsory to wear a life vest 
to ride the fearless river. I'm ready for you and I'm fearless. Uh, these life vests are awesome. This is just float quite easily and happily here. It's getting <laughs> rough. Be fearless, Sivako. Oh, wrong product, wrong brand. Oh. No, 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 no. Thank you for that. Woo. Oh, we're going into the back side of the volcano. Look how amazing it is. There's literally flumes everywhere you look. Woo. Not drowning just yet, folks. Rocking it. All right, this looks a bit rougher. Oh, <laughs> right in the mud. We got a wave coming. I can see it. Woo. So cool. <laughs> Once is not enough. I'm going again. <laughs> so cool. By the way, the water is heated to a very nice temperature. Well, at least I think so. No, 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 no. I could do this all day, just like Captain America. Oh wow, look at this! Whoa! <laughs> Where did that come from? Woo, waves! Okay folks, I'm taking my own advice, grabbing a lounger next to the Fearless River. I've got a feeling this is where I'll spend most of the day. Look how cool these necks are. So this is where you can leave, I don't know, your flip-flops, your sandals, your shoes, your hats before you go on these slides. Pick them up when you get off. Winding River, otherwise known as Lazy River, I'm coming for you. I see you. Oh wow, how quiet is it? Right, first job, grab a tube. The most difficult part of this is actually jumping in the tube and I'm glad you couldn't see me try to do that. <laughs> Thank you. Loving the music. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I bet it's going to be a bit chilly in there. Um. Oh, well, this is cool. Look. Stars, lights, Babylon. Every time. <laughs> Not the most relaxed and lazy river I've been on, but it's definitely a lot of fun. Owl, swimwear, sun cream, food. All right, I'm heading out now. You can't keep the tapu tapu, I'm afraid. You've got to pass that back as you leave. So if you watch part one of this series, you'll know I've got a part to part ticket uh, for all three parks, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure and Volcano Bay, which is awesome. It means that now I've spent a few hours in the water park. I'm going to head over to Islands of Adventure and take on some coasters. Secret entrance. I think it's absolutely amazing that you can stay in a budget hotel at Universal and have a water park on your doorstep within walking distance. All right, back at Cabana Bay, all freshened up. Priorities. Close. Every time I've needed to take a shuttle from the hotel to the parks or from the parks to the hotel, there's always been one waiting. They've worked really well for me this week so far. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving. As far as Crazy Golf goes, this looks, you know, 
crazy. Oh, hello. We're back. My favorite bit. Yes, it's the Lone Palm Airport. My favorite watermelon margarita right here. Right now in part one of this series, I showed you the wizarding world of Harry Potter at Islands of Adventure. Today, we're turning left. So there's information online about how tall your younglings need to be to ride everything here. But also at the entrance, they've got these very handy paddles just to double check. I turned left. Smash it, baby, smash it. This is Hulk that launches you uphill straight into an inversion. Woo. Like so. Hey, have fun. Five minute wait in a single rider's line, done. Very, very intense. Wasn't banging my head around too much today. I was in the back row, yes, winning already. I love this current mood. Angry, 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 angry. That's me. Oh, I love Dr. Doom's Fear 4. Gotta do that one. Come on, up you go. Up, 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 up. No single rider line for this one, but only a 10 minute wait. Awesome. In we go. No, I can't film on this, obviously. I love that. You literally come out of your seat when you hit the top. Arguably one of the best attractions in the whole world. Think simulator on a track with great set pieces, 3D screens, fire, water, a lot of noise. Um, that was about a 15 minute wait and blimmin' worth it for one of the world's best attractions. We beat you! Ice, ice, baby! Bum, 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 ba, da, dum, bum. And now the Bonkers Tune Lagoon with two of my favourite water attractions ever. Oh, I love that they do ramen here. Oh, by the way, you don't have to buy bottles of water here. You can just ask for a, a cup of cold water. So there's a lot of this order your food from your table using the app now. Ta-da! And it takes an age for your food to arrive. I've been waiting a long time. Time is money, Universal, and I don't have either to wait. There are a lot of people going up, complaining at the moment. I'm just gonna stay put, stay calm. Which, as you know, is just like me. <laughs> Yay, my pork ramen has arrived. It looks and smells very good, so I'm gonna forgive them for the very long wait. And my goodness, I love an egg roll. Oh, wonton time. Nothing in this world is more dangerous than sincere ignorance. Wow, I literally just posted on my Instagram stories about people still making judgments about solo travel. This is appropriate. They are ignoranuses. Right, let's get this all over our bums and back out there. It's so cool. 
one of the best rapids rides in the world. You don't get wet though, you get drenched. Okay, I've got to go on it. Uh-oh, soap guns. Get ready for your next drenching, people. <laughs> and let's do this. Popeye and Bluto's bilge wrap barges. Spoiler alert, I'm going to get drenched. In case you're wondering, you're gonna get drenched. <laughs> wow. Yep, I'm addicted to Velocicoaster. found a way. No, I haven't had an accident, don't worry. I've just been on the river ride. Right? It's so cool. And cooling, but not bad. The Pteranodon Fly is one of the slowest loading rides on the planet. Think trucks, screens, water, and gigantic prehistoric apes. The other classic.
I do actually have one dry bit on me. Ready to see? That is it. <laughs> oh, me behaviour jeebies and bits and bobs are soaked as well, my darlings. How awesome was today though? Mental. Right, well, I'm not going to take the shuttle back because I'm soaking wet and there's no way I'm getting on an aircon bus. I'll freeze my behaviour jeebies off. So I'm going to take the walkway. I reckon it's going to take us about 20 minutes. Let's find out. None too shabby a walk, my darlings, I must say. Okay, Sapphire Falls Resort to our left. We are going to take a bridge over here. I call it the Garden Bridge. Over the road we go. And look at this bridge. Gorgeous. And we're home, Cabana Bay. Right, how long did that take? But that took me exactly 15 minutes. Although admittedly, this is the wrong end of the resort for me. Look how far I've got to go. Where's my tower? There it is. I'm coming for your baby. This end of the suites uh, resembles a motel a little bit more. Can I also just say on the record, there's nothing wrong with a motel. I've got to get in so much trouble. Oh my God, I'm dying for a wee. This lady knows her shawarma. Well done, lady. Ooh, I don't know how much more of this day I can take. Let's go to the bar. Cheers to the hideaway bar. Fun in the sun. And if you want to know what's in it, you should have watched part one. It's bloody delicious. And because I've already got my souvenir mug, the cocktails now cost $12.50. Awesome. And my other refillable for the soft drinks, of course. It's gotta be delicioso for me. I've got my refill, I've got my deliciosa, I'm on my beds, I've got the TV on. Chill. Let's check this one out. Oh, thank you very much, Bayliner Diner. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, they are so good. <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to turn off my camera, bid you all a fun farewell, but tomorrow is a new day with another adventure. I'll see you then. Good morning, everybody, from my happy place. Are you ready for today? Wow, what a difference a weekend makes here. My beloved Starbucks has a line longer than the, the longest conga on the planet. I think I'll give that one a miss today. Speaking of today, I have zero, I mean zero plans. I'm gonna wing the whole thing. So if it doesn't feel like there's a, a clear narrative running through today's vlog, that's because there isn't. You're following my crazy brain. Let's do this. Well, it's a beautiful day here in Orlando. Surprise! I'm heading over the Garden Bridge, heading for Islands of Adventure. I've made the decision. One of the things I'm loving about this particular trip is having five nights here and not feeling like I'm in any rush to do rope drop, to do all the attractions in a day. No, I'm doing it at my pace. I'm doing it my way and I bloody love it. Now, I'm no stranger to doing solo trips with all my vlogging escapades, of course not. I'm not so used to coming to Orlando on my own and doing the theme parks on my own. That is uh, a little different for me. What I wasn't anticipating at Universal is the number of single riders lines they have, which saves me so much time. For those of you who sometimes feel a little bit more self-conscious about going solo, I mean, the fact is this place is made for single riders. All sorts of really nice chats with people in the lines as well. People are here to have a good time. I haven't once felt out of place being a solo traveler here at Universal Orlando. Enjoy your taxi. You know what, depending on how today goes, I might do a bit of resort hopping, show you around some of the other hotels. I'm good to you, I really am. Let's see how busy this is on a Saturday. I imagine very. The adventure begins again. Priorities. Oh yeah. Best loaded tuts ever. The music here reminds me of Mathu, by the way. A little bit um, silly, daft, naughty. 
two unbudging zaps or stubbornly stuck. Okay, I think this is one of the creepiest attractions ever, and I'm doing it for you. Just like a lot of Matthews everywhere. Matthew everywhere you look. We're gonna spin, spin, spin. Oh dear, you did not like our game. What a shame. What a shame. Have no fear of this mess. You'll just never be the same again after riding that, ever. This is called the Lost Continent and it has no attractions anymore. Hopefully they're going to do something awesome with this area. It does, however, have Mythos Restaurant, which was awarded World's Best Theme Park Restaurant at some point. Oh, it has a, talk, a talking fountain right, as well. Fountain magic, so. oh. What a clever fountain, eh? Oh. Excuse me. My beard, I know. I know. Where are you? Where Isn't are you amazing? watching us from? Where are you? Alrighty, I am now gonna get a tattoo. Well, a henna one. Okay, folks, I'm not getting a real tattoo, don't worry. But I am thinking about it. <laughs> right, I need to let this dry now and wash off the little flaky bits in about 25 minutes. Back in Hogsmeade. I have never been here to eat. Has anybody else? If you have, please drop your comments below. What's it like? Back on Hagrid's. Here we go. All right, I'm here for Velocicoaster, obviously. You stay calm, you naughty little beast. All down, rocked it. Still one of the best. Okay, I haven't done this before. Welcome to the Raptor Encounter, folks. My name is Raptor Yell, and I'm a Raptor Handler. Name me Velociraptor. But in name Tango. Everyone say, hey, Tango. Hey, Tango. That's right, Tango's one of say hi. So what's your name? Nice to meet you, Dr. Jamie. Where are we from? Small big. Again, again, again. Go inside, guys. Go inside, please. Go inside. Just stepping out of the park to City Walk for some lunch. Oh my God, I've gone years without a Panda Express. I am going in. And there we go, Kung Pao chicken, broccoli beef, uh, chicken egg roll, and fried rice. And water as well. Stay hydrated. Okay, now Panda Express is my absolute guilty pleasure. Fight me. Right, let's head back to studios. I'm hopping, I'm hopping, I'm park hopping. The weather is certainly better today than it was a couple days ago when I came here. Did you see part one? Ooh, cloudy, stormy, moody. Every time I come here, I say I'm not going on this coaster because it's a head rattler, battler, shaker. And I'm gonna go on it. <laughs> I mean, at my age, all sorts of bits and bobs can fall off, but you know, no pain, no gain sometimes, folks. Front row for me, go me. Not quite as head bangy as I remember it, uh, but the song choices are definitely more limited than they used to be. But good fun. 
quick temperature check for you all. It's 26 degrees Celsius today. The coolest day of the whole week actually, but it feels a lot warmer now that that breeze has dropped considerably. Very, very pleasant indeed. I remember the ride, but more importantly, the year I was born. And there's the bad boy himself, Naughty Shark. Look at those chompers. Help me, please. The night bus look, hello. <laughs> the night bus shining, glistening in the sunshine. Better blow hard. All right, I'm taking a water taxi to Sapphire Falls, which is a very short walk from Cabana Bay. Welcome to Sapphire Falls. This is one of the only resorts I haven't yet stayed in. I'm hoping to rectify that next year. Sapphire Falls is classed as a moderate resort. So it's a notch above Cabana Bay. The lobby is vast and it smells delightful. They've got multiple restaurants and bars here. The pool area is humongous. Obviously, this resort also benefits from the water taxi to the parks. Basically, it makes me want to come back all over again. Ooh, that's a pretty coffee shop. Thank you very much. I'll have a little bit of that. Very nice indeed, folks. And don't forget folks, I have already stayed and vlogged about Surfside, Royal Pacific and Portofino Resorts hotels right here on site at Universal. So just search Travel Blog Jamie and insert the name of the resort and lo and behold, the vlog will appear. Oh, I can't believe it. I've also stayed at the Aventura Hotel. How did I forget that? Just search Travel Blog Jamie, Universal Aventura Hotel. It's got a fabulous rooftop bar, by the way. And here we are back on the Garden Walk Bridge. Nearly home. Well, this is different for me. The tartest refresher I could get on the menu at Starbucks. And blimey, I need it after all that walking today. Oh, my goodness me. I'm cream crackers. <laughs> I know people often talk about being Disney tired online um, when you're doing Walt Disney World but I'm certainly universal tired today. Oh, me aching bones, me age, getting old. Right, me tattoo's gone all henery now. Um, what do we think? I mean, not the color, obviously, that's not a color I'd want on me ordinarily. Shall I get one done for real? Do we have flaming hot natto flavored Doritos in the UK? I know we got the spicy ones, but these are like hot and spicy cheese ones. I don't recall seeing them. They're actually burning the inside of my mouth, so <laughs> they're very, very spicy. Look how dangerously red they are. Literally stained my fingers. Okay, I can't put it off any longer. It is time for the P word. Not weeing, P for packing. <laughs> oh, is there a sadder sight than this? Still, all done. I'm armed with my mug. Let's go find some food. Oh, the stars are coming out tonight. Oh, there's a song there. Saturday night by the pool. They're loving it. We got fire pit action going on. It's so cool. It's all happening in the Swizzle Lounge. 
Oh yeah, we got live music. Oh, go on. I thought I'd try an espresso martini from the Swizzle Lounge. Haven't been here yet. Don't judge me. Holy sh... <laughs> strong. It's delicious. Kind of feels like, um, it's like a chocolate rum or something. I haven't actually looked at the menu. Let's have a look. Anchor and martini. Look, almost matches. Uh, by the way, it's in a plastic cup because uh, I was actually going to take it away. Decided to sit here in the end, so it's not the barman's fault at all. That is officially the strongest espresso martini I have ever had. It's also very good. Oh, I'm really going to miss being here. Like, the world is totally going to sh right now and this is absolute escapism on the best level alrighty it really is time to eat back in my gorgeous room with a box of treats I don't think you can see how big this spaghetti and meatballs is with a breadstick it's massive anyway I'm going to eat this in bed watching one of the Jurassic Park films. Why not? Good morning, everybody. Well, another fabulous night's sleep here at Cavana Bay. One thing that has surprised me, actually, is I haven't been able to hear any noise at all from uh, the people staying either side of me. When I was in Surfside at Universal, all of those walls were paper thin, could hear everything. It is, of course, my last day here. My flight is at 9 p.m. tonight with British Airways. That means I'm here till 5 p.m. What to do? Parks, water park, stay on site, pool day. And yes, I am really gonna miss this place. Organization is key on a day like this. This is the bag I will be checking into the hold on my flight. This one is coming on board with me. And this little bag here is for my day by the pool. Ritualistic farewell time. By bed, you are super comfy, and oh my goodness, I'm gonna miss looking at all those gorgeous trees when I leave. I've only got a railway to look at at home. By retro unit, you are retro arama. By mahusive shower, I'll miss you and all your space. By cabana bay room, I love you. Mwah. Bye, miss you already. Come on, Paul Matthews. Let's get you in the storage. Well, I did ask for it without cream lady was struggling to understand so i'll just scrape it off <laughs> waffle and strawberries well it's nearly 10 a.m and the pool area is nice and quiet slip slap slip slip slap time very acceptable last day weather Let's do this. Very lazy river, this one. And pool life. Ugh, what a day. I haven't actually done this yet since arriving, you know. I've been so busy. This is a great way to end the trip. Well, I thought I'd have a light lunch, grab a sandwich. Holy macaroni, it's bigger than my head. Time to cool off and recharge quite literally and well done for getting my name right all right my time here is sadly over just ordered an uber off to terminal c of orlando international let's see what the check-in process is like and of course the british airways flight home to london <laughs> i'm ready for you mr uber man
Well, that was super quick, only 20 minutes, no traffic whatsoever. And now I have to say goodbye to the sun and the warmth. Okay, I see you British Airways, I see you. Alrighty, so I've checked in already using the British Airways app. So in theory, it should be a simple case of bag drop. Well, that was easier than doing a pee when you're drunk. Boarding pass, done. Well, that was icy cold service from security here at Terminal C. I'll forgive them because it was very efficient, but blimey, chilly, frosty reception. All right, let's see what we got in Terminal C. Shake Shack, of course. Pizzeria, Green Beat. This is a nice terminal, you know. Oh, I'm torn. It's the Universal Orlando Resort Shop and it's the Walt Disney World Shop. Oh, I have to do both. Pretty. Funky. Look who it is up there. Very clever. Ooh. Okay, so that is me. Look, watch as I move my arms. The fishy's following me, look. Oh. Right, I'm gonna run. Can you keep up with me? <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, I could actually live in this airport. It's me. SeaWorld store. Oh, there's a wine bar over there. It looks like they're suspended in air. Look at the name of that coffee. Punch in the face. Four shots of espresso on top of coffee. Love it. Oh, it is so sad seeing that. They put one of my favorite attractions in the airport. Maybe a bit controversial, but why not save the shopping until the airport? I've just checked. The prices here are exactly the same as at Universal Studios itself. Just saying. And look at this awesome screen. It goes all the way above. Cool as beans. I see a dragon. I could just stand and watch this for the next two hours. Oh, he's getting closer. Away. Ah. How cool. Are you right, baby? Go on, fly over the top of me. I dare you. I dare you. Oh. <laughs> Off he goes. I'm sold on that. <laughs> I do love you too, Disney. I do. Ah, oh. Ohana. It means family. Well, this is definitely a step in the right direction for Orlando International. It's pretty much been a breeze. And towards the departure gate, we have charging stations and all the seats here. They've got uh, charging points plus some of your drinks like that. It's just so big and bright, airy. I'm enjoying it. There she is. What's the betting there'll be a storm when we get back to London? I'm boarding. Scheduled takeoff is at five past nine this evening. Take the bridge, take the bridge, take the bridge. Oh, this is torture, isn't it? Imagine having to walk through this and then having to walk through premium as well. It's all torture. Florida coastline, miss you. Wow, it looks a long way, but nothing compared to my flight to Bali.
get in my tum. And you'll notice the two seats next to me actually have unlimited legroom, whereas I've got the bulkhead. Yep, maneuverable. A choice of barbecue chicken or Asian style noodles for dinner. There's a quinoa dish to start and I opted for the vegetarian main. Nice kick of ginger, garlic and chili. We're also served a bread roll with butter, crackers, cheese and a dessert. And four hours of sleep later. Looking good, feeling great, looking good, feeling great. And just like that, breakfast time, although I found it to be a little bit limited. Oh, I thought that's the 23 hours remaining. 23 minutes. What a welcome back to Blighty, eh? Oh, take me back. Apparently a storm passing over. Great, just like when we left England. Standard. Well, we made it. A generally smooth flight, actually. Nice service, food was fine. Pretty comfortable seat, although be aware, exit row seats have limited width. Most importantly, we arrived safe and sound. Oh, and slightly ahead of schedule. And here comes the sun, oh no, the rain. Oh, it's raining again in England. Well, that was a fun landing, wasn't it? Anyway, we made it. We made it. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We made it. Thank you, plane. Thank you, captains. Probably should have brought a coat. Oh, quite quiet here. Uh, that was super speedy. Rocking this flying lark, I really am. Although, been here half hour and nothing. Well done, London Gatwick, you meat sandwich. Well, here's Paul Matthews. That was not a good end to a fabulous trip. They didn't bother telling us that they'd moved some bags to different carousels. I've literally been here an hour looking for this bag. Knobs. And back to priorities. And on the return journey, well, I reflected on what was an absolutely stunning week at Universal Orlando. From the resort to the food, drinks, hospitality, just fabulous. I'll be back. Thank you so much for your support. We passed 26,000 subscribers. Today's shout outs go to my tiers three, four and five patrons. You can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. You can also request personalized video messages on Cameo. Just search cameo.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. Thanks for watching and why don't we follow each other on Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins. Also, I'm on X, Threads and Instagram at TravelBlogJamie and of course, right here, right now on YouTube.